Hey, what's up guys? Um, I'm here today to review a brand new laptop that I just bought from Best Buy. It's made by HP and it is the Pavilion G7 series. And uh, before I start, I just want to um, just want to say that this is one of the nicest laptops that I've ever owned. And uh, I'll tell you why. The first thing that you can obviously see is the beautiful, beautiful um, 17.3 LED HD screen and it's absolutely amazing for playing games and watching HD movies on it and um, you know multitasking it's got the screen size so that you can run you know simultaneous windows side by side without having to worry about something being pushed off the screen or not having enough room to uh, to see what it is that you're doing and uh, it's got a nice, very, very nice, comfortable um, full keyboard here, and it's got a, the numpad, the number pad right side. And I also wanted to make note of the LED indicator lights on there, your Wi-Fi, and also your caps lock which I think is pretty a pretty pretty important thing because a lot of times if you're working some people don't realize that their caps lock is left on and you know that if you have case sensitive passwords it's nice to know you you can just look over here and say hey my caps lock key is still on let me turn that off so that was a really nice touch and um, also as you can see it's got a pretty nice touch pad here it's nice and it's textured. I don't really care for the smooth, um, the smooth touch pads like you might see on some Acer laptops. Simply for the fact that they are very, very sensitive. And while you can adjust the sensitivity settings, it's just kind of a pain in the backside to have to, you know, fiddle with it. And um, you know, if you get oil on your hands or you've got lotion or something, it makes it very easy to to scroll too far or you know it's just very slippery so I really like the feel of it and it's, as you can see it's very responsive you know you don't have to uh, really put any pressure on this to uh, get uh, to, to get moving on your screen and you can also choose to disable it altogether by this little button right here you just simply double tap it and the indicator light comes on to let you know that the pad has been disabled and to enable it again you just simply double tap it again and it goes off then you got the two uh, right and left clickable buttons down here you know it's pretty pretty sleek looking and the processor on this thing is just outrageous you got the uh, AM the AMD a6 processor it's mine is the 3420 series and it is in fact quad core a quad core processor and it comes with an integrated AMD Radeon grass chip now a lot of people get afraid of buying a laptop with an integrated graphics chip in it because they it'll be lacking in performance um, and you know you just won't be able to really get any use out of it but with this particular laptop series um, AMD decided to make an APU instead of putting it you know a separate GPU you know onto the motherboard and that basically lets the uh, graphics chip you know behave like a dedicated discrete graphics card now the uh, graphics this graphics card comes with 512 megabytes of dedicated video memory and um, it also worth mentioning definitely worth mentioning that you get over two gigabytes of total available graphics memory which means that when you're playing your favorite games if you know if it needs high, uh, a little bit more memory or a lot more memory to run smoothly what your graphics card is going to do is going to bar that memory that you can um, have while running your favorite games and uh, I will just tell you right now that this thing is a beast when it comes down to games. A lot of people have been saying that um, this type of this particular laptop it can only run games on medium settings and it's not really all that great. But I'm here to tell you that that's not true at all. Anyway, so on to the side here. If you can see that, got your 
DVD or W drive and you can get them in Blu-ray configurations but I really you know I just download my movies and watch them that way and you've got a uh, USB port on the side next to the power plug-in and as you can see it's orange so it's still charging and it'll turn white when it's done it's pretty pretty neat looking and let me turn it this way and on this this side you've got your SD card slot you got your hard drive and your power indicator light right there and um, you got your headphone mic and microphone jacks right there two additional USB 2.0 um, slots and you've got your HDMI port right there and your fan to expel the heat from your graphics chip and a, and a VGA um, hookup for an external monitor. Now I will tell you that one thing that I don't quite understand is why uh, HP decided to put their hard drive indicator light and the power indicator light on the side of the computer. Um, that might seem like a stupid gripe but me personally if I'm running applications and I need to see you know if if my computer gets hung up for some reason I like to look at the indicator light for the hard drive to see if it's still working and you know if it's if it's a, if it's steady then I'll just let it finish doing what it's doing and if it's not running that means your computer f froze up so you know it's just really convenient to have it in the front but you know again that's a small little nitpicky little thing it's just my personal preference but um, and the weight of the laptop is really not that heavy it's roughly about six pounds which is pretty pretty standard for a uh, 17 inch laptop these days you know it's not too heavy it doesn't feel bulky when I'm ca when I'm carrying it around now you will need a big case for this though you know as with any 17 inch laptop you, if you don't have a uh, case big enough you're going to need to go get one next to that so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you the Windows experience here so you guys can see what the system ratings are go ahead and zoom in on this so you guys can actually see what I'm doing sorry if the video is a little shaky but um you know it's just something that it's gonna have to be dealt with until I get my camera um, let's see gonna go to the action center here now here are the scores I don't know if you guys can see that too well or not but the overall score is a 4.6 and as you know that the score is based on the lowest number and you know it's got a very very nice um, score for the processor uh, good memory score desktop performance for Windows Arrow but you know it's ending over like a two is really you know pretty pretty decent anyway and for gaming graphics a six that is actually six uh, point seven the other day um, but I kind of tweaked some things uh, but anyway you know it's very very fast and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to show you guys a uh, a sample of what this thing can do and I'm going to put some um, some gameplay videos up for you guys so you can see the games you know the demonstrations in the best possible uh, resolution you know it'll be original quality HD quality instead of this okay I'm gonna start up just cause and I'm gonna show you that my settings are maxed out everything is on high and go ahead and 
go back and we're gonna go ahead and start the game let's load okay as you can see you know the perf the load time is extremely fast it happens in you know just really really quick <laughs> And um, now on my last laptop, I had a gateway and had a Core i3 processor, Intel HD graphics that were supposed to have um, a, over a gig of video memory, and I could not play this game for anything. So, as you can see, very, very fluid. And uh, let's just go over here to this bike real quick. a little bit as you can see there's absolutely no lag whatsoever I really I don't suck this bad I promise you guys but you know considering the fact that <laughs> I'm uh, you know anyway, you guys can you know see uh, you guys seen the, the uh, demonstration I will post a much better gameplay video um, soon but um, whoops exit And we're going to exit the game completely. Yes. All right. Now, just some of the games that I am playing thanks to this laptop NBA 2K12, Just Cause, as you just saw, Call of Duty Black Ops, Battlefield 3, Grand Theft Auto 4, Oblivion, um, Test Drive Unlimited, just, you know. As you can see, I've got quite an extensive list um, of games here, and they're all running at you know higher maximum settings. And um, so, anybody that tells you that this particular laptop cannot run games at maximum settings, you know, they are selling you some wolf tickets because um, this this laptop can do all of that. And I was actually surprised that a um, a budget priced laptop like this would be so speedy, snappy, and efficient. And I don't care what I've thrown at it; it's still, um, you know, it, it performs fast without fail. Let me show you how quick Internet Explorer comes up. And this is not just because I have a um, a fast internet connection. You know, the actual Internet Explorer. You know, look fast that comes up it's just absolutely amazing and I'm also going to show you guys a YouTube video here look how fast the YouTube popped up okay we're gonna go to let's see Alan Wake gameplay let's see I'll just go to either one of these. Well, now I want to make sure that it's PC so that you guys can get, you know, the full resolution here. And this is another game that I uh, definitely plan on getting very quickly, or very soon rather. And I'm going to go all the way up to 1080p. And uh, my connection seems to be 
slowing down just a little bit. Um, I've got a few other computers running at the same time, but I'm going to put this thing on full screen for you. And we're going to go ahead. So. Yeah, my computer, my internet connection is just, it, it is kind of slow right about now. Um, but, as you can see, the picture quality is very, very good. It's crisp, you know, and it, when, when the internet connection is, is like it should be, it just, it, you can start the video and it plays smoothly, you know, and quickly. So, Overall, I am uh, thoroughly, thoroughly impressed with what AMD has done. And for $149, I highly suggest you guys go pick this thing up. If you're looking for a laptop to be productive with, or you're looking to play, you know, some of the latest games, this is going to do all that and more for you. And uh, at half the price of other more expensive laptops. Now, I am not saying that Alienware or some of the other ASUS laptops are not worth the money, but what I am saying is that if you're tight on cash, you want something to perform the top line computers, I honestly can vouch for this computer for AMD and say that this will satisfy your needs. And um, also, I forgot to mention the, uh, the webcam up here. Hope you guys can see that. Yeah, there it is. So it's not it's not an HD webcam, but it does pretty good for 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 all intents and purposes. And as you can see, it's got a nice uh, a nice pewter colored finish with a nice HP logo down there. Um, and overall, it's a smooth finish, and it doesn't attract that many fingerprints. So. You know, you're not have a hard time keeping this thing clean. And also, I really like the fact that when you p close your top and, uh, you know, you don't have to hit any buttons to get it to come out of stand standby mode. You just simply open the top and it the computer powers itself on for you. And just like that, you're up and running. You know, everything is running the way that it was before. So, yeah. Sorry that this video was so long, but I really just wanted to make sure I covered everything in this in this video about this laptop in case you guys had questions. Um, let me run over the specs one more time. It's got a uh, and it also comes in a 500 gigabyte hard drive model and a 750 gigabyte hard drive model. Both computers are going to cost you the same, 449. And I think that's pretty good of AMD to do that in HP. Um, it's got the A6420 uh, quad core processor with 512 megabyte um, a, a Radeon 6520D graphic card with 2 gigabytes of total available memory. Uh, Windows 7 64 bit. Uh, it's got this little HP Premier Experience logo down here, and uh, for good reason. And um, you know, it's got four gigabytes of DDR3 RAM, upgradable to eight, which I also recommend. You know that you do. If you don't upgrade anything else, you probably won't have to. But I highly suggest getting, you know, adding some more RAM to it if you want to keep your uh, your laptop future proof. Or I won't say future proof, but you know, if you want to have extend the usability of your computer, I would recommend it if you're a gamer. Uh, so that about covers it for this review. And uh, if you guys have any comments, you know, leave leave me some comments, and I'll re I'll gladly respond with questions, you know, feedback on my video, and um, I will be po posting up some really cool uh, gameplay videos in the next couple of days so be on the lookout for those subscribe to my my channel and uh, you know if you have any other uh, suggestions or something like that you know let me hear them
you know so anyway hope you guys like what you saw and i will talk to you guys soon